Welcome again to Jurassic Park. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the G creation, M. Wrath. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a nice image of Wrath in his dino mode, in his robot mode. His name is M. Wrath. Out top, we have. M. Rath on the bottom, we have again M. Rath on the side, M. Rath on the other side, M. Rath on the back of the box, we have our obligatory product shots, dino mode, robot mode, all that good stuff. You remove the slip cover here, and it's just a whole lot of brown, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have M. Wrath, and this is G Creation's take on Age of Extinction Grimlock. And here he is in his dino mode. And no, he is not a giant car. He's a big, bad mechanical dino. And uh, yeah, here's the dino mode. And this looks fantastic, in my opinion. Love the dino mode. This looks so, so good. Just so cohesive looking. Just very, very well done. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Uh, that beautiful, beautiful noggin of his. And you can see some nice coloration there, just kind of that dry brush effect going on. Lots of nice detail, nice metallic red there for the eyes. And those teeth, look at all those teeth. Oh, that must be a pain in the butt to brush. You can see you got some details there picked out. Have a copper color, get a little bit of gold in there as well. But again, lots of detail going on. Just looks fantastic in my opinion. Little arms, his little claws. We got some more details in gold, that copper color. And just lots of detail going on. And again, just all very cohesive. Looks great. With big old legs, just a lot. This is a lot to show off here. But it all looks really, really good. Here's big old toesies. You got a little claw back there. You can see his robot mode hands are kind of visible there in the back. That's the only real visible robot part on this guy. And his tail, again, nicely detailed. Got the little spikes here, which are actually uh, on hinges there. You can move those, angle those how you want. But yeah, really, really good looking. So yeah, there's the top. There's the bottom again the only real visible robot part is just you know his, his chest there but really everything's pretty well camouflaged he does he, he slides as giant dinos should slide hooray for giant sliding dinos and for comparison uh, here he is with the studio series grimlock i have the dna kit on mine but so you can get a sense there of the scale of this dude here he is with the uh, Black Mamba upscaled Studio Series Grimlock. You can see how that works out. And here he is with the uh, Black Mamba or AOE Mech, same company, but with the uh, upscaled Scorn. You can see how that works out. So, there you go. As far as uh, Primes go, uh, here he is with the uh, Voyager Prime. That doesn't really work out too well, but eh, there. And here he is with the Unique Toys Prime, which is definitely too big here for Grimmy. <laughs> but there you go. Now articulation wise in Dino Mode, uh, the head can look up, can do a total squirrel, can do that. Can look down some, the head, as you can see, can extend. So you can have the head looking down a bit. These little neck pieces can also move in and out. Just these front ones, they can move in and out. I'm guessing that's probably to, our, to accommodate more for the uh, head movement when you're going down. Um, you do get side to side as well. Uh, the mouth can open pretty wide. He does have a tongue in there, which can 
move up and down. Uh, these bits here, you know, this is more for transformation, but they can move in and out if you want them to. Uh, his little, his little arms, they can rotate, they can move in and out. You have a double jointed elbow and little hands can move up and down. As far as his big old beefy legs go, uh, they can rotate kind of at this hinge. Uh, they are pretty limited in dyno mode. Uh, they can move outward. Uh, you do have knee joint right here, which can bend. That's pretty much as far back, whoops. Pretty much as far back as it can go. You can straighten it out, out to there. So you got a nice ratchet going on. You also have this hinge as well, which you can work with. Um, you can get him to stand. Um, I've, I've seen some people complain that he's hard to stand. He's not hard to stand, it's just the point of getting his legs in the right position. And once you do, he does stand pretty solidly. It's just the point of getting his hips uh, pointed forward. You have his hips pointed forward like this and then bring that knee all the way back. And once you do that, he has that center of gravity and he stands just fine. And you can even smack him around like Prime does, just backhand him and he stands just fine. So it's just a case of getting his legs just right and he stands perfectly solidly. Um, as far as the tail goes, uh, the tail can move up, can move down a little bit. You do have some side-to-side -side wiggle waggle action. Uh, this suction here can move up and down. This suction can move up and down. Little tip can move up and down. And again, all of these little spikes here are on hinges. So you can kind of bring those up or angle them however you want to. So there you have that. Oh, also his, I uh, almost forgot, his, uh, his feet, his little dino feet do have ankle churchage there and of course if you kind of move things around this little panel will come undone you don't want to do that but yeah he does have ankle tiltage and uh i think that's pretty much it for the dino feet and his little toes can splay in and out so now there you have that now as far as accessories go he includes his uh spiky wrecking ball hand and this is just for robot mode um you can see got some nice little textures going on in there get a little bit of coloration there in the grooves so you have that, and he has his staff for his big old mace. You can see, again, you got some kind of textured detail in there. Got some spikes and whatnot. Looks pretty good. And again, this is for robot mode. Uh, none of this stores in the dyno mode, and that's fine. I don't care, but yeah, these are purely robot mode accessories. So there you have that. And the last accessory that he comes with is a... Uh, is a little prime. So, yeah, this is a really nicely done little figure. Um, it doesn't transform, but uh, it's a nicely done little figure. We're getting close here so we can take a look at the head. See, you got some good paintwork going on there. Nice blue. Although I feel like this eye wasn't painted as well as this eye, but the eyes are done in a nice metallic blue. You get the nice flame job there on the chest. Some nice metallic paint here for the blue looks really nice really pops most of the body done in silver some red some more flamey goodness there's a big old fate but a nicely done little figure there as far as articulation goes are the heads on a ball joint you get wiggly waggly up down can rotate only as far as his collar will allow arms can rotate they can move in and out at the shoulder itself you do have a little hinge here at the base so you can get a little extra there. Um, the shoulder pads are on a hinge so they can move up and down. Bicep rotation, uh, slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Wrist rotation, you get an ab crunch in there. Waist rotation, a little crotch flap, can lift up, ah, and decent exposure. Legs can go forward that far, back, out. Thigh rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And his feet are on a ball joint, up, down, tiltage, and rotation. Now, as far as accessories for Prime goes, because he does have some accessories of his own, he does have his sword, which is, again, nicely painted. And silver with some red, some blue. And you also have his shield, which, again, is nicely done. And they both have pegs on them. There is a port on his back. Now you can only store one weapon 
or the other. You can store them both, but hey, still pretty nice. And you can just plug the sword into his hand like so. Plug the shield into the port on his forearm here. They go on nice and snug like. And now you have Prime armed up. So now, bring Grimlock forward here just so we can see how they scale together. And that seems like that's a more accurate scale, I think, anyway. And just to give you a uh, just a quick sense here of how tall this figure is, uh, here he is with Earthrise Cliff Jumper. So you can see he's a little bit taller than the Jif Bumper there. So there you go. And another thing we can do here, which is pretty cool, as he does have a, uh, a port, a port right there. He has a port where the sun don't shine, and. Uh, we can get him into a sitting position here. We have to bring this up. There is a post right on top of Grimlock here, right there. You can take Prime and plug him on. Oops. Get that lined up just right. There we go. Get that plugged in. And there you go. Now Prime is a Dino Rider. That's pretty cool. That definitely makes for a very cool display in my opinion. I dig that. I really dig that. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I, I feel like this display alone is worth the price. That's just too cool. But wait, there's more. This can transform. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? I'm not, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to do it. That's just, that just seems a little too dangerous. We're not, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Let's take Prime. Let's put him off to the side here. And let's get down to transformation. So, to begin, we need to come back here. We need to basically open up his spine here. So take those sections, bring them out. These little panels here, you want to untab and bring those out to the side. You want to come back here to the bootyal section and raise these panels up here. Raise that up there, and now you can untab all of this, and all of this will lift off. What parts forming? Shh, shh, shh. This does something cool though. What's this? Just shh. it's okay. Just, just calm down, calm down. So we're putting this off to the side, and there is die cast in this. I believe this. I think this chunk of it is die cast, so it has a little bit of heft too. But uh. Yeah, so now we are left with this and we can continue. So now, uh, what are we doing? So we are now going to lift up the tail. We're going to bring up the head. Uh, get his little arms out of the way here. Keep your head up, Grimlock. You have to keep your head up. All right. So we're gonna take this panel here. That will just come down. These panels here will untab. Just pull those out to the side, like so. And once we've done that, we come back here, we can kind of see where his legs are hanging out. So we can bring his uh, his feet up now. Let's bring them up a little bit. Um, his legs are pegged together right there and they're also tabbed in on either side of this armature here. So you basically just kind of want to pull all this out and bring it up and just kind of swing it off to the side here because we also have to clear Grimlock's head. So just bring it out to the side and bring his leg out. And same thing on the other side, just kind of pull it up and then pull it out to the side here so we can clear Grimlock's head. And there we go. So his legs just unfurl right there. So now we will work on his legs here. You do want to bring his hips out. His hips do pull out. So just kind of grab them and just give them a tug. And they should expand right there. See how that works. And you just bring this little panel up right there to make a scratch. And we can work on the legs now. So what we're gonna do with the legs is we're gonna take this side section here. We're going to actually first, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take this panel here. This comes out to the side to fill out his leg there. And then this just pulls out like so. So you can then rotate it around this bit here rotates and you can see it two tabs two slots so just bring that down 
that just tabs in right there and then we take this section here this will flip in you want to fold in his little arm little arm does have you can see two tabs right here they're going to go into these two slots right here so just get that in get that all lined up like that and then bring that foot down and just get all this into place and compress this in and that'll tab in right there like so and boom once you do that you flip up the heel flip out the little toe spike and there you pretty much have a leg all done um you want to then pull out this little thigh panel and then rotate the leg up at this hinge in here and that will line up his entire hip and his leg and then you just push that into lock it in place and there you have a leg all done second verse guess what is just like the first so I'm going to over the camera so you can see what i'm doing there we go bring that off to the side bring that out rotate all this around rotate bring it down dab and bring the arm in hold up the arm make sure all that goes where it's supposed to hey keep your head up keep your head up grimmy what i say what i say there we go dab that in bring that over then compress it in so it tabs in like so bring out the heel no spike and then last but not least you just open up the little thigh panel rotate that up lock that back in place and there we have his legs all done so now what are we doing so now we're just going to lay him back down actually but there's still a little bit more we need to do here so we're going to take this tail and head armature and this is going to rotate like so do a 180 and we got that in place for later so now let's get him standing and now we can work on the armular region aka the region of the arms so what we're going to do here is whoop, so we're going to untab the hand from the back of the dino foot here rotate it around this little thumb you can see it's kind of tucked in there bring that out so we're going to then undo this panel here bring that out and then we're going to rotate the dino foot you want to bring this little back claw bring that all the way back and this will collapse into the forearm like so now we can bring his hand down and now what we're going to do here is we can actually kind of raise this up because we need room here untab this section right here you want to straighten out the arm just bring it down a little bit so you can get to this little panel and this little panel will come out and just flip around there's a little tab for it that's going to go on secure that in place and then we can just straighten that out this little section here will flip up and this hinge is really tight there we go okay a little looser then all right and then that just comes up and that will clip into place then you can just bring that little shoulder piece down and once you've done that you can just rotate this up the rest of the way bring the arm down and there you have an arm all done guess what second bus is just like the fast so bring that up rotate thumbsies untap that rotate bring back the claw collapse that in bring this up bring that down untap that straighten that out a little bit so you can get this around flip it around tab it in straighten that out flip up this little panel which again is tight on mine there we go and then just tab that in snap in place bring that down bring the arm up rotate it down and there you have the arms all done so at this point we can take these little chest pieces just bring those down we come back here 
we can bring up Grimlock's head. And we're getting there. We're getting there. So now we need to work on the bacular region. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the dino head here and we're going to split it down the middle, splits, splits, and also splits the, uh, the neck as well. So one side of the head goes down, one side of the head goes up. So you can then split the two sides like this. So at this point now, you want to, uh, what should we do first? Um, actually, you know what? We'll just get the, uh, the dino head pieces, the shoulder pad situated here. So what you do here, you want to make sure the, the tongue is down. So you want to just swing this around and all of this will just slide in like so. And you can see the two posts or two ports in there. So you just get all that lined up which I don't, there we go, get that lined up like that, take this, slip that in, there you go, you just kind of slide that out, it's on a slider, so just leave that slid out, again, just kind of rotate that in, swing out the tongue, just swing all this around, collapse it in, like so, and again, just get everything lined up, it's kind of hard to see where the ports are from behind the camera, I think I got it. I think I got it. There we go. All right, pull that out. And then we got the shoulder pads all done. So now what we're going to do is there are some pieces on his back here that move. And I've watched a couple of videos. I haven't watched every video on this guy, but I watched a couple of videos and the ones that I saw didn't do this move. These little back pieces here do move as well. So you want to just bring, bring these, uh, spread these out a little bit. So you want to bring this piece out so you can rotate this piece down. These are a little tough to move, but there we go. It's doable, of course. Of course, because the camera's on, now it's going to fight me. <laughs> I usually have an easy time doing this. But of course, camera's on, so it's like, nope, don't want to cooperate today. Nope, nope. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Or is it because, oh wait, because you have to do this first. You want to take these bottom sections here and they will slide in like that. I didn't do that first. Then you can swing this out. There you go. Then you have the clearance to swing that out. So this can then come down. Then you bring this out. That was my bad. I just did it in the wrong order. So there you go. So you want to bring in those two, these, these lower pieces in first. And then these pieces will move for you. So bring that to the side so you can swing that down. And then bring that up. And there you go. Now Grimlock has his proper back. His proper back muscles in place. Because Grimlock don't skip back day. He don't skip pull day. He just doesn't. And once you do that, then you can just connect the whole backpack right there via those two ports. You get it all nice and squozen. And we are getting there. So now we will work on his tail. So what you do here with the tail, the tail just splits down the middle like so and spreads out. Uh, the instructions do tell you to flip down the little, uh, flip down the little spikes, flip down those little spikies like that. And then all of this will just collapse up onto the bootular region. And there you have that. So now, Pretty much at the home stretch here, peoples. Now we just have to work on his uh, work on his diaper here. So bring his little knee spikes out. These bits here will rotate up. Um, these side pieces here are, are on sliders. You want to slide those back. That one's already slid back. There we go. So just bring that up like so. Then you come here. These bits here untab. And sometimes it helps if you kind of wiggle his waist joint. Helps get these pieces loose. There you go. And then you bring, once you get that untabbed, you bring it down a little bit, slide it out to the side, then bring it the rest of the way down. And then take it on the other side. Just untab, slide that out to the side, bring that down, and there you go. Now he has his diaper. His dino diaper. 
And the chest pieces are down. The dino head shoulder pads, you just slide in so that it sits over his shoulders all nice and proper like. You bring up his little horn there. And I think we're done. Oh, we're done. Yes, we're done. Woo! We're done. And there you have M. Rath, aka Grimlock, in his robot mode. And he looks awesome. Very well done, in my opinion. I think the robot mode looks just as awesome as the dino mode. And uh, yeah, very, very pleased with this. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. There we go. Again, got some nice, nice detail going on there. Get some of that bronze color going on as well. The little beady eyes. His little beady eyes are painted red. And again, lots of nice detail They're on the chest. Got some nice coloration going on in there as well. And a big old diaper. <laughs> it just looks like a diaper. I'm sorry, but it's accurate, but it looks like a diaper. I'm sorry, but you can see you got some nice coloration there and detail in the legs. All around, really nicely done. His big old feet. And it's a clean transformation. You know, he has the tails back there, but they're supposed to be back there. You can see, it's a very clean transformation also. Very well done. Very, very well done, in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head um, is not on a ball joint, so you don't get any wiggly-waggly, but the head can rotate. He can't look up. He can look down a little bit, and that's pretty much it. Rotation-wise, as you can see, that's pretty much all you're going to get. Um, his mouth does open and close. I don't know how well you can see that, but, you know, see his little, his little mouth opens, so he can kind of roar at you there. Um, as far as the arms go, uh, the arms can, of course, rotate. You don't have to move the shoulder pads out of the way, but the arms can rotate. They can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You can see that little shoulder bit will move out of the way to accommodate. Of course, going to get back into place afterwards. There we go. Get that right there. And moving on down, you do have rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. As far as his hands go, the hands can rotate. They can also swing in and out. Um, the fingers are articulated, the thumb is on a ball joint at the base, and you also have a hinge right there, and each finger is just on a hinge at the base. Um, as far as the waist, you do have waist rotation. Um, now as far as the legs, you do have to move his, uh, you have to move his diaper out of the way, so you need to kind of shift these, these bits up, so you can then move this whole thing up. And that accommodates the leg movement there. So legs can go forward about that far, back uh, about that far before the tail things start to get out of the way. Granted, you can kind of move the tail out of the way, but still things just kind of. There we go. Make sure that stays locked. There you go. You can get about that far back. Once you get everything out of the way, these panels can move out of the way. You can get almost the full splits. You get thigh rotation. Squeaky thigh rotation, but thigh rotation nonetheless. Knees, yet a little over 90 degrees. There's little knee spikes, you can kind of angle how you want. The feet, they can move up, they can move down, and you have, ah, uh, his feet are die cast too, uh, but you do get some ankle tiltage, and you can, you know, wiggle the little toe spike, and the heel can move down if you needed to. This supports any posing. And of course, we can give him his accoutrement. We can give him his uh, his wrecking ball here, and you want to just split it down the middle like so. And how this works is you want to open up his hand like so. Just play the fingers out all the way like that, and this will just sit right here. And you can see the fingers just sit in those little grooves. Now you just take the other half and. That will all just come together like so, and there you go. Now he's got his big old wrecking ball hand. So you got that going on, and we still have his uh, his spine that we ripped out, and we can do something with this. And this I think is really cool. So to transform this, you take these panels here, 
swing these under. This bit here will rotate around like that. Same thing on the other side, just swing that under, rotate that around. Then you want to bring this up and rotate this whole section around like that. Bring it down, a little spike in here, you just flip to the outside like so. This section here is on a double hinge, just bring this around and that will tab in right there like that. You can bring these two halves together and this will tab in right there. And then we take this central section here and this will rotate around. I always forget which way to go. Ah, so we're going this way. Rotates around like that and then bring this down so you can pull this piece out and then this will come up that will tab in right there and then we bring all of this up and you want to bring these little side bits out because this is going to go inside of them and make sure that stays tabbed together so you want to bring this up and these tabs here will go into the two slots like that and there you go so we got that going on just a spiky ball of murder death and then we bring in the staff portion here and you can see here there is a kind of a larger tab and a smaller tab so there is a specific way this goes in and where are we there we go you can see there's the, the larger tab the smaller tab and then you just line all that up and plug it in plug it in like so, whoops, make sure things don't come undone. And there you go. You have this big old giant club, spiky club of murder death. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. One thing I will say about the staff though, the staff itself is a little flimsy because there's die cast in this. Like this is, this is legit. This is, it's heavy, it's spiky. This is legit dangerous. This is legitimately dangerous. So be careful with this. You can legitimately hurt somebody with this, but the staff itself, as you can see, like, it kind of weeble wobbles, so I wouldn't, you know, go nuts and try to swing this around because you could probably snap this, so. That could, this could have been a little bit stronger, but all in all, though, that still looks really cool. So there's a little tab right there that will go into the slots in the palm of his hand. And once you get that in place, Boop, just push that in, wrap his fingers around it. He does hold it pretty securely. And there you go. He has all of his weapons. And he is ready to just wreck some stuff. And that just looks cool. So, so cool. Love it. Love it. So there you have that. And now for Gunpower Sun. Here he is with the Studio Series. Leader Grimlock. Again, mine has the uh, the DNA kit on him. And for the record, I still love this figure. This is still one of my favorite Studio Series figures, but just so you can see how those two fare against one another. Here he is with the Black Mamba version. Obviously a bit bigger there. With the upscaled Scorn. with Voyager Prime with Unique Toys Prime and of course with the included little Prime so you can see how that works out <laughs> he's just a little guy so there you go so there you have M. Wrath, and yeah, I really like this figure, and this is the same company that made Ultra Maximus, so full disclosure, I was afraid when I first got this figure. I was afraid, but you know what? This is a really well done figure. Um, the, the dino mode looks amazing. The robot mode looks amazing. Um, the transformation, it works. It works well. It works pretty smoothly. Um, getting him back into dino mode, there is some fiddle factor just getting his legs in the correct position to get everything tabbed in. But it wasn't to a frustrating degree. I was never frustrated messing with this figure. So again, considering these people made uh, Ultra Maximus, this was a pleasant surprise. I actually did enjoy messing with this figure. So... All around, very cool, solid, sturdy. It's got some die casts in it, so it's, you know, it's hefty. 
this all around a really, really well done figure in my opinion. Very, very pleased with it. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Robot Kingdom. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out my third party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the G Creation M Wrath. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Big Eek! Be proud. Boom in your face! Only together can we survive. Let me lead you. We're bringing you freedom! Ah! No, that I was expecting.